Hannah Kappen's novel, Foul is Fair, is a gripping retelling of Shakespeare's Macbeth, set in modern-day Los Angeles. The book is a fascinating exploration of themes such as power, revenge, and justice. In this literary analysis, we will delve into the symbolism, motifs, and characterization present in the novel. One of the most striking aspects of the book is its use of symbolism. The opening scene, where the protagonist Jade and her friends are dressed in blood-red dresses, foreshadows the violence and bloodshed that will follow. The dresses also symbolize the girls' transformation from innocent schoolgirls to ruthless avengers. Similarly, the crows that appear throughout the novel symbolize death and destruction. They are also associated with Jade, who has a crow tattoo on her back and is nicknamed the Raven. The crow's presence is especially ominous during scenes of violence and revenge, highlighting the destructive nature of Jade's actions. Another significant element of the book is its use of motifs. One of the most prominent motifs is the idea of masks. Jade and her friends wear masks throughout the novel, both literal and metaphorical. They hide their true identities behind fake names and personas, and the masks they wear symbolize their desire to conceal their true intentions. This motif is particularly interesting because it highlights the theme of deception, which is central to the novel. Jade and her friends are constantly manipulating others to achieve their goals, and the masks they wear allow them to do so without revealing their true selves. The book's characters are also well-developed and add depth to the story. Jade, the protagonist, is a complex character who is both a victim and a villain. Her desire for revenge is understandable given the trauma she has experienced, but her actions are often brutal and ruthless. She is not a traditional hero, and her motivations are often ambiguous. This complexity is what makes Jade such an interesting character. Similarly, the other characters in the book are also well-developed. Each of Jade's friends has their own unique backstory and motivations, which adds depth to the novel and makes the revenge plot more nuanced. The novel's themes of power, revenge, and justice are also explored in depth. Jade and her friends seek revenge on the boys who sexually assaulted Jade at a party. Their actions are motivated by a desire for justice, but as the novel progresses, it becomes clear that their actions are also about power. Jade and her friends become the ones in control, manipulating others to get what they want. This thirst for power ultimately leads to their downfall, highlighting the danger of seeking revenge and the corrupting influence of power. In conclusion, Foul is Fair is a thought-provoking novel that explores themes such as power, revenge, and justice. The use of symbolism and motifs adds depth to the story, while the well-developed characters make the revenge plot more nuanced. The novel's exploration of power and revenge is a warning about the dangers of seeking revenge and the corrupting influence of power. Overall, Foul is Fair is a powerful retelling of Shakespeare's Macbeth that will leave readers thinking about its themes long after they have finished reading.